In this episode, I will highlight how innovative subversive infiltration tactics have been used or deployed by authoritarian governments to skillfully challenge international opposition and to persuade and control world leaders' decisions over organizations that influence global consensus. Welcome to Four Seas One Family. Welcome to Four Seas One Family, where we share thoughts and opinions concerning life in Taiwan, the region, and the world. I'm your host, James Thomas, coming to you from Taipei, Taiwan. And I'm so glad to have you traveling along with me on this journey. And welcome to the show. In a global political sense, shifting or changing the opinions and decisions made by leaders in other nations have become more of an art than when people who have opposing views gather to come to conclusions that they all can be proud of achieving. The changing of opinions held by national leaders, which affects the people they govern, usually involves changing the political landscape and the nation they have sworn to protect. Now, if a national course is changed or modified to suit another nation or government's needs, a nation's citizens may have no other choice other than to oppose their leaders' actions to secure their rights and future. Now, suppose a national course has been changed or modified by its leaders to suit another nation's nefarious objectives. National objectives then become weakened and shifted in favor of another country whose aim it is to seize influence over a subverted government to take control and dictate policies and affect their people. Now, this situation may force the people of a nation to resist or create an uprising, which may be precisely what some nefarious governments would like to see in countries they perceive as adversaries or opposition. This situation is also when nations need to heighten their awareness and suspicions of governments trying to subversively obtain a foothold in their countries because of their political position, geographical location, or natural resources. Now, let us focus on the techniques or tactics governments use to sway opposition in targeted nations they want to align with, change, modify, or frankly, take over. Foreign governments looking to influence conversations within a targeted country look for internal or homegrown opposition or conflict and then somehow work to refocus conversations within opposing groups that accelerate the intensity of disagreements. Now, the sole purpose is to weaken the alliances built between all opposing groups by making their stance on particular issues ambiguous or downright unacceptable to at least one particular opposing group. By increasing the number of unresolved issues, interfering external influences can create an environment where citizens become incapable of cooperating as a single unit, which weakens their overall strength and control within their own nation. Now, this method also corrupts the moral composition of a nation's government and its people. Today, information is created and spread to every corner of the world at an astonishing rate. And it doesn't look like this situation will change anytime soon. In this current state, it becomes very difficult, almost impossible to filter out misleading facts in information that we consume, which in turn adversely affects our decision-making process. Now, this problem becomes compounded when we discover or receive information that reinforces our beliefs and, in some cases, our prejudices. Now, once foreign governments are able to fabricate and at the right time inject misleading information that conforms to the beliefs or actions of a particular segment of a targeted nation's population, it becomes able to use hyperbolic details and methods to make information appear to be factual or believable to those beyond any reasonable doubt who conform to certain beliefs without the fear of the data being questioned or rejected. When information the people of a nation receives becomes infected by hyperbolic statements, it clouds decision makers' visions and could lead to a population's implosion. 
foreign governments working to sway opinions and government actions in other nations are quite aware that to make their narratives appear to be homegrown, they need to create long-term milestones and adjustments that would allow their implanted points of view to be received by the people in a targeted nation as organic. By keeping their true objectives camouflage, they become able to silently achieve their goals. Now, it becomes challenging for foreign governments to propagate their belief system and preferred actions to take upon a targeted nation's uh, population by using their own voice. Their points of view would only appear to be unacceptable. So it becomes imperative that they are able to find representatives or agents who are or who could hopefully be seen as charismatic members of a targeted nation's population who is willing to take a foreign government's points of views and make it known and hopefully accepted by the people of the targeted nation. Now, during the Cold War, people employed in targeted nations by the Russian security apparatus to spread Russian narratives were fondly referred to as useful idiots. And unfortunately, in some situations, several individuals employed as useful idiots are unable to comprehend that they are just being used as gestures to spread false narratives. However, most of these useful idiots somehow feel that they are benefiting from their association with those who are prompting them to promote a particular position upon the people of their own nation and sometimes the world. And the sad thing is they are just expendable and replaceable, disposable mouthpieces. If you found that what we have to offer of any value, Please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to keep up with our current episodes. And if you're listening to our podcast, please subscribe and help us spread the word that we have a lot more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. For Four Seas One Family, I'm James Thompson, Taipei, Taiwan. And remember to stay safe and healthy wherever you are in the world.